Hi. Now, you might find that you're asked to write an expression, say something like this, 9x squared plus 12x minus 1, in the form px plus q all squared plus r, given that p is greater than 0. Now, you could use a method like I showed you in the earlier videos, but it's much easier with this type of question, where we've got this px term, to compare coefficients and constants, as I'll show you. What we need to do is just take our expression here and say that it's identical to this expression here. If we do that, you're going to get a line something like this, OK? Now, what I'm going to do next, though, is we're going to start to expand this bracket here. And if you expand that in the usual way, you're going to get p squared x squared plus 2pqx plus q squared and then plus that constant on the end, plus r. OK? And then the next thing I need to do is start to compare coefficients. We'll start with comparing coefficients of x squared. So, in other words, I'm looking at that 9 here and comparing it with the p squared here. So what I've got then is p squared, OK, must equal the 9. And from this, it follows then that p must be equal to the square root of 9, which would be normally plus or minus 3. But then we can see from the question, we're told that p is a positive value. It's greater than 0. So therefore, I can see that p is going to be equal to 3. I'll just put here that but p is greater than 0. So therefore, p must equal 3. All right? Next, I'm going to try and work out what the value of q is now that I know that p, what p is. And I can do that by comparing the coefficients of x. OK, so by doing that, I can see the coefficient of x here is plus 12. And we've got 2pq over here as the coefficient of x. So I can say then that 2pq must be equal to the 12. So it's 2 times p. p we now know is 3 though. So we've got 2 times 3 times q must equal the 12. Well, we've got here 6q equals 12. And so therefore, q must be equal to 12 divided by 6. And clearly, that's going to be equal to 2. All right, so we've now got p and q. So it's just a question now of getting the value of r. And we can do that by comparing the constants. So we've got the constant on the end here, negative 1. All right. And we've got the constant over here. Is these two terms here, the q squared and the r. So by comparing those, and we now know the value of q is 2. So what we have got is 2 squared for q squared, and then plus r must equal the negative 1 that we have here. All right? So we've got 4 here, plus r equals minus 1. And if we take 4 from both sides, we end up with r equals minus 1, minus another 4, which clearly is negative 5. So we now have p, q, and r. And so we can substitute them back into the expression here on the right, and we can finally conclude then that 9x squared plus 12x minus 1 is identical to 3x plus 2 all squared minus the 5. OK, so I hope that's given you an idea how we can use this method then of comparing coefficients and constants to figure out our values for p, q and r.